Hello everyone, my name is Lance Corporal Nunes and today I'm going to be teaching you a lesson about the Countryside Code. So in this lesson we will go through the eight parts of the Countryside Code and I'll explain what each of them means. So you should take note of these things as they will be very helpful during expeditions and such. So the first part of the Countryside Code is plan ahead. This This is arguably the most important part of the countryside code, because if you do not plan ahead, the chances are you will get lost, injuries might happen, you might find yourself in a place you can't get back from, such as a cliffside, and so on and so forth. In order to prevent injury to yourself, others, and the wildlife, plan ahead and bring anything you need with you. Next is the second part. Keep gates as you found them. So, what this is for is, say a farmer has so say a farmer has some cattle in a field. They have the gate closed, and you cross through it and you leave it open. What that means is the cattle might walk out and the farmer would lose his profit. Furthermore, if the gate is open between two fields and one has some form of animal that the farmer wants to get into the other field and you close the gate, then the farmer is going to have to try again, which then takes up more of his time. So that's why you should leave gates as you found them. Next, you should avoid, wa avoid wildlife. So the reason you should do this is because when you are an MTP, such as this, animals can't see you. All they can see is your face and maybe your arms if you have your sleeves rolled up. What this means is that they can really startle them and they will try to attack you. As well as this, you, you don't want to get too close to animals because if you injure them accidentally, then it's not you that's going to have to pay for its repairs, say it was uh, a chicken or a goat and you hurt it then it's the farmer that owns it that's going to have to pay for the vet, so on and so forth. So, next, keep dogs under close control. So, the reason you should do this is so that your dogs don't attack any wildlife or any animals that belong to other people. This is because, as dogs are still animals, if they see a deer they will chase it. So, so that your dog doesn't get injured, and the animals don't get injured, you should attempt to keep them under as close control as possible. On top of this, if your dog is loose on a farmer's property, they are in their right to shoot it if it's damaging their wildlife. So if you want to keep your dog alive and you don't want to get sued for liabilities on other people's animals, keep your dog under close control. Next, respect the residents of the countryside. So, the reason for this is, essentially this means don't shout, don't play any loud music, and don't swear in the countryside. Because it's more empty, there's less sound, it's more likely to carry further, and if you're living in a countryside, uh, you, don't you wouldn't really want a bunch of teenagers to turn up near your house shouting and swearing and playing loud music, because that's just, that's not pleasant. Essentially, treat them like you would want to be treated if you were in their position. Next, very important one, don't litter. So, this is fairly obvious. You shouldn't litter for two reasons. One, it's bad for the environment. It's just bad in general because it won't decompose. And secondly, animals, if they see it, might think it's part of the grass or something, and they might eat it. 
And if they eat it, one, it might cause them a lot of damage, and two, it might kill them. And if it kills a wild animal, one, it's uh, animal abuse, it's illegal. Two, it should weigh heavily on your conscience. And three, if it belongs to... If it belongs to a farmer, for example, like a cow, and it eats a bottle of plastic, it won't digest, and if the cow dies, then the farmer is in all, in all right to sue you for the entire value of a cow. And the cows can be worth up to £1,200. So if you don't want to pay that much because you dropped some litter on the floor, don't litter. Next, keep the paths. So, what this does is it prevents erosion of the countryside, so it protects the landscape, protects the grass around paths, and two, you, you avoid trampling in areas where animals, one, may breed, and you could be uh, disrupting them, or damaging plants that may be very rare. So, for example, if you step on a rare plant, that is going to have a very vast effect on the population of that plant. Or, if you step on a bird's egg, because it might have fallen, then you're going to damage it. So, stick to paths to protect the wildlife, and also so you don't get lost. And finally, don't light fires. So this is fairly obvious. This is the reason you don't light a fire is because if it gets out of control and it damages the environment, you could start a forest fire that could damage a lot of property. Furthermore, fires can get out of control very easily. So if you do light a fire, make sure to put it out properly with water and sand or dirt or something in the area so that it's not just so it couldn't relight. So that is the countryside code. Uh, try to remember these as much as you can. And I will put a video. Oh, I'm going to get out the video.